Well, do you remember the firehouse sub store? It was damaged when a driver crashed into it. This was over on the south side of Jacksonville. It won't be reopening anytime soon, at least. It's been condemned by the city, and now we know the people who were involved in that fatal crash. Tristan Hardy on your side this morning, live from the firehouse subs with the very latest. Tristan? Hey, good morning, Lou. So the lights are on at this firehouse subs, but the front door is locked, and you can see this orange sign that reads condemned. This building is subject to demolition. And then on the back of the firehouse subs is a small memorial recognizing the lives lost from a recent crash. Once you hit that curve while driving on University Boulevard and Terry Road, Emmett Baker can't help but stress the importance of paying attention. That's a dangerous curve and it's bound to happen. Baker's job as a barber is just a few doors down from the firehouse subs. To Baker, crashes on this street isn't uncommon. Everyone that goes fast. But he's ready for a change. Has passed. Just a few weeks ago, two people died in a fiery crash. On August 16th, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says the driver of a BMW was speeding on this street. They lost control of the car while on this curve. Surveillance video shows the car catching fire as soon as it hit the sandwich shop, leaving a giant hole in the wall. We've since learned the crash victims were Edward Anwar and Johan Steven. Friends confirmed their identities to us, but declined to talk on camera. Anwar and Steven were described as cool people by their peers. Small memorials were left at the scene in memory of them. The streets need to be repaired to, to stop all these accidents from happening. Now the city of Jacksonville has this firehouse subs location susceptible to demolition. Baker hopes whatever happens next will help cut back on crashes on the street. You have to slow it down. That is just one thing about that curve. You have to slow it down. Well, in 2018, city officials had barriers installed at the back of the firehouse subs after a 41-year-old woman crashed her motorcycle at the same location. We're live in Jacksonville. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.